I was born in Oregon, but didn't live there long. And by the time I was six weeks old, my parents had left Oregon and moved to North Dakota. We lived in Fargo. And at four and a half, my dad took a job selling insurance with Mutual of Omaha in Topeka. So we moved to Topeka, I think it was in 1947 or 48. I went to school mostly at Highland Park in Washburn for the first two years of college. That was where I met Stan. And then when we married, we moved on to K-State because he was in engineering. And I switched from my major of psychology, sociology at that point to accounting. Stan asked me what my major was and I told him and he said, that's really neat. And I bet you're good at it. But I have a feeling we're going to be running a business and we could sure use something besides that. What do you think? And I said, well, I enjoyed high school bookkeeping. I guess I could try accounting. When you marry Stan, you pretty much start getting involved right away, but in 1965, his dad called us while we were at K-State and said he had purchased Jones Alfalfa in uh, St. Mary's, Kansas, and he was planning on Stan running that. Um, that was a real dirty plant. The whole summer was spent fixing what we could before we started and then fixing the rest of it as we went that year. Well, he was a full-time engineering student at K-State and I was a full-time accounting student at K-State. And we both kind of liked it. It was our weekend, it became our weekend home. He's always been a hard worker full of innovative ideas. It's a little bit hard to stop on that, and he loved to mess with the plant to make it better. And, um, and previous to buying the alfalfa plant in St. Mary's, Stan was making um, temperature controllers for the alfalfa mills all around in Nebraska and Kansas. And they would ask him to come in the middle of the night when their temperature controllers went bad and he started just keeping temperature controllers in stock so to speak and we would go and he would fix their stuff and make their dryer systems run better and get everything squared away and then we would keep that old equipment they had and he'd fix those and make all the internals new Eventually, uh, those were Honeywell's. We actually went to junkyards to find the, all of the pieces. And eventually Honeywell was like, you are not using our cases. And they quit putting those in junkyards where we could go buy them. And so he started casting his own um, molds and made his own casing for the controllers and all that stuff. So he was making them from scratch at that point. But that was what paid the bills to get us through school. At the end of 1969, Granddad made another phone call and said he had leased Topeka Boiler Works and that he wanted Stan to run the fabrication shop too. And Granddad ran the fabrication shop at the plant site in Topeka as well as Topeka plant. They actually started a competition of cost and produce and whose plant sold feed at a, or the alfalfa pellets at a better price. Um, it was kind of fun. 